Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Ouch! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. You'll be fun. Woohoo! Keep hiking, Trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. So Space Lady Hellbender's range head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Can we refo- oh! oh! That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this! Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! We should have gone to Mach 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. It ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Black! It's not alone. Get ready. Jelly's 
monster around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? When all else fails, shoot stuff. Or it's the lift. Having fun? I not think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! Husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. Clearly not a husk. It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time. Great. We made it halfway up. Now, there they are. Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. I hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Flark. That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Every time we had wanted, we never go anywhere. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. That too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Try down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it. Statues suggest civilization, and the only element I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs! Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. 
I know they're all alien. I mean, this one's... Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put me. We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of flocking dogs! How will we cross? Look <laughs> around, we'll find another way. Shooting your way out of every problem again, Peter? Trying to. Not a chance. We both know it's too far for you, Strange. Wow, it is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet, right. not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Drax, think you can topple this? Indeed. What's Shatari tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? That obelisk looks promising. Oh! I may have angered him. All right. Let's try not to fall. Place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? What's oh. up, people? Incoming! <laughs> Fucking monster things! Everyone get ready! I will face all of Lady Hellbender's beasts! Get it out of your system before we get there! Our bloodlust is sated for the like present! You really got time to be admiring the scenery? Careful! There's your chance, Gamora! We think would have come in handy a second ago! Would have been better than Drax's idea! You can fly these beasts straight to Lady Elvinger! Good luck with that! Satisfactory! turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her... More am I cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Oh, an old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships, or one Chitari infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Now what's the whole Fear. No! Just thinking someone else could cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the... Just 
Go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. A monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, oh, no. yep, definitely saw the giant head. Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill. You're not alone here! Yeah, I got it. Uh, guys, anyone know what that is? A monster! Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. And it is settled. Let us scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. This... The unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. What next, Peter Quill? Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories. Impressive. See, that was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I help in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops, here we come. One thing is clear. We would never have a 
accomplish this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. It took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure. Okay, here we go! <sighs> oh, slimy. Uh, guys? You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the Flarkus is so deep? In a jam, boys? <clears throat> you think? Son of a smack, breach! Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, and fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Flark, Flark, Flark. Quill, Quill, I don't know. My blasts, they... i only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoid tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull Scott like this. Like, just come on, dude. Just... Leave the guns me, alone! Me, I, I, Quill, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys! DNA caught in the box. Some kind of morphine nano Sorcery. Here we go again. up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what, Flarkin? I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go! You must have jump started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yeah. 
And dry now, too. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. Um. Whoa! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Yeah, I doubt it, Drax. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but it's too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Quill's the greatest explorer I ever met. Yeah, just, you know, stirring water into ice. I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. Yeah. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> you! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. There must be a lesson to you, Robert. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. They were easily Chitarians, so they should stop our progress. Stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else know that? It really stinks back here. Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. I am clenching every orifice right now. That's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got to work on your taste, but... The cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our... with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you You're whispering? Don't pet the tentacle thing! Gamor thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster way. inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety as leader.
rocks our every effort! Coming with me. We better hurry. Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet. You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, don't they? We're running a business here. Profit this time. Hey, Quill, better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. Moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That... Let's just get this done. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flarkin' infinity bridge, is what it is. Are oh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you good? Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the Flark and things looking like we're in business. Group, you ready to squeeze in? Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Maybe we're going about this the wrong way. Rock is the best escape artist I know. If things go south after the transaction. We're making the right choice. What? We voted on this. I don't feel right putting Groot in a cage. That's because it ain't right. Peter, She'll he... go for it. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. You stop worrying so much, you're gonna start growing knots again. Okay, here we go. Please. 
anybody have like a campfire song or something we could sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0.66 For the love of Clark, stop counting clicks. We could take turns exchanging the monster quickly. Quietly. Hey, birthday boy. What are you going to hear me? Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Give me a sec. I didn't think you'd actually come up. Maybe being on time is my new thing. Oh, right. We'll see about that when I have to get you up for school tomorrow. You know, I think I'm too old for that, too. Nice try, smart Alec. Sit. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I wanna go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on, it's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it, tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No, of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. 
Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Promise me you'll be safe tonight, Peter. We're just going to the movies. What could happen? 